massive for the team and obviously Aston Martin. Uh, having a race win at Silverstone is always very special being our home circuit. Um, and it was just a, a really good jo good race by everyone. You know, uh, I got my nose down and uh, just uh, pushed as hard as I could in my first stint. And then uh, the guys did a good pit stop. Jody did a, a great first couple of laps after the pit stop. And then he had to deal with the pressure of the, the safety car. But it's all uh, all worked out really well for us. Yeah, obviously, it's never completely won. You you start hearing things with the car and stuff like that. But yeah, we obviously had a comfortable gap, so that was good. I was just kind of doing the lap times I needed to. And I saw a Ferrari stopped on the outside at club and I was thinking, no, 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 please, please not now. And I got the safety car call and yeah, I just knew at the restart we had a lap car between me and the guy in second. So I knew I needed to leave a bit of a gap and sort of nail it. It worked out and then from there I just gradually built the gap up and drove to the times I needed to do really. And yeah, it's a really good result. Hopefully we can repeat it tomorrow. We had a great car. Uh, that's uh, Apiri. I had a contact with uh, Montermini. Uh, yeah, he apologized to me, but you know, that's, that's also racing, uh, but at the end uh, we were quite lucky, we had the, the safety car at the end and Matteo was uh, able to overtake the, the leader. The race that uh, was completely crazy, in fact, uh, after the, the, that Montermini spoon uh, duel, yeah, we have the, the fortune to have the safety car and then I was able to, be, to overtake uh, Roda and I did in the last lap, so we win, uh, the car was amazing and uh, that's all.